What's up, draft enthusiasts? Dave here from draftdashboard.com, comma, bringing you a midweek update on our DFS picks for this weekend. Let's jump right into the top picks. Starting with the quarterback position, I'm going with Jalen Hurts from the Philadelphia Eagles. He's got a dash rank of 100 and is facing the Cincinnati Bengals, who have one of the worst defenses overall. Hurts has been solid, averaging 20 fantasy points per game, and he's projected for the same this week. The media loves focusing on Hertz's challenges, but those have not affected his on-field performance. With a low ownership of just under 4%, he could be an under-the-radar pick capable of exceeding expectations, especially with his ability to make plays with both his arms and legs. Switching gears to the running back position, Kenneth Walker III from the Seattle Seahawks is my guy. He's facing the Buffalo Bills, who have a middle-of-the-pack defense. With an impressive 23 fantasy points per game, his consistency is noteworthy. Projected for 18 points with no ownership, he's got fantastic potential as a strong RB play this week. With the current weird season, Walker's performance has been one of the few constants, making him a must-consider. Now onto the wide receiver spot, Garrett Wilson from the New York Jets is on my radar. Facing the New England Patriots, who also have one of the worst defenses in the league, Wilson is in a favorable matchup averaging 17 fantasy points per game with 13 last game and a monster 28 points the game before, Wilson has shown he can be lethal against weak defenses. He is projected for 14 points and will be about 6% owned. His ability to make big plays and get targets makes him a great option. Hopefully any buzz around the Devontae Adams saga won't distract too much. Moving to the tight end position, I like Cole Kmet from the Chicago Bears. Playing against the Washington Commanders, who have a middle-of-the-pack defense overall, Komet has averaged 12 fantasy points per game this season. He scored 24 points in his last game and is projected at 10 points this week. With an ownership of just over 3%, he's a savvy option as he's been increasingly involved in Chicago's offensive scheme. At a reasonable salary, he presents excellent value. Over to the flex position, Brees Hall from the New York Jets stands out. His opponents, the New England Patriots, have one of the worst defensive rankings. Hall has been on fire, averaging 18 fantasy points per game and scoring 29, 25, and 7 points in his last three. Projected at 20 points with a higher ownership of 47%, he's in a prime spot to deliver big once again, riding momentum and with a favorable matchup ahead. Lastly for defense, the Denver Broncos against the Carolina Panthers stands out. With an opponent rank of 25, Denver has a high dash rank and is expected to capitalize on the Panthers' weaknesses. Their projected points are 10, and they're sitting at a 7% ownership, making them a solid defensive option. Remember to utilize our daily fantasy tools by clicking the link in the description below to fine-tune your lineup. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates. Good luck this week, and let's snag those fantasy wins.